there's no way to prepare yourself for what it is truly like to be in a total eclipse of the sun. Many people have seen a partial eclipse of the sun, and it's nothing at all like a total eclipse of the sun. Here in Knoxville, we're at 99.9% of totality, which sounds really close. It almost sounds good enough. But here, good enough isn't even close. You are going to miss the prime thing that a, a total solar eclipse is all about, and that's getting to see the corona of the sun. To see a 99% partial eclipse is like going to your favorite musical and standing out in the lobby. You can sense the excitement, but you've missed the main event. Once it gets really, really close, where you, the disk of the moon is now just starting to cover up the entire disk of the sun, astounding things start to happen. Because one, it goes from as bright as day to as dark as dark twilight in a matter of minutes. You see the animals behaving very strangely because it usually does not get dark in the middle of the day. Gradually, the sun has become only a sliver. All that's left is the diamond ring effect. Just the last little bit of sunlight coming through. You have this glimmer for just an instant. You see storms in the lower atmosphere of the sun. Prominences, kind of a fluorescent red in color. All of a sudden, it is nighttime in the middle of the day. You, your body knows, every part of your being knows that it should be daytime, but now it's night. You can see some of the bright stars, you can see Venus. But even more strange is you look up, what used to be the sun is now this black circle. And it's surrounded by this brilliantly glowing, soft white light called the corona. The corona is uh, a kind of halo around the sun. It's the sun's outer atmosphere. We never see it except during a total eclipse of the sun. And it's unearthly beautiful. You just can't help but just feel as if everything about reality has changed. You can understand why people used to get really, really frightened during solar eclipses because it feels like a dream world. Looking at the sunspot. Okay, what do you see? Oh, it's right there! Wow. In anticipation of the eclipse coming to the area, we are doing some outreach programs here where we have solar observations on the roof. We can safely view the sun and different wavelengths to get different perspectives, and also running through simulations of the day of the eclipse here in the planetarium. What we're trying to do here more than anything else is educate the public. Let people understand how important it is that we do it safely. I'm holding a pair of solar eclipse glasses. Now, we've had sunglasses all our lives, and I can tell you for certain sunglasses are not for looking at the sun. These have a neutral density factor that only allows one one hundred thousandth of the ambient light, the sunlight, to pass through. That's safe to look at the sun with. Anything less than that is not safe. So if you have a certified pair of solar glasses, then you've got the right thing. When the moon is blocking the sun, totality occurs, you actually take off your solar filter. That's when you can see the corona, the atmosphere around the sun, and you can take in the full spectacle that is the eclipse. I truly believe it's a life-changing experience that everybody should make an effort to do and go see a total solar eclipse. It's been 38 years since a total eclipse has come to the mainland United States. And this one is exceptionally nice because it goes all the way from Oregon, across the country to South Carolina, right through Tennessee. Most of the time people have to travel far off places, even sometimes taking a cruise to get into the path of the eclipse and it's cutting right through our backyard. 81 million people are within driving distance of that path. That's a third of the population of the United States. So if you can imagine a natural event that draws that kind of attention, be ashamed to miss it. We strongly recommend that people get out of Knoxville the day of and get into the path of totality because it is a site that you will not want to miss. It will change your life and give you a story that you will remember and want to tell your children, tell your friends. 
this should be a top item on everybody's bucket list.